Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to episode 13 of the solo guide series. Uh, so as you guys know, 1.5 uh, has dropped. So we now have access to custom ammunition um, for every weapon except the Dolch, thank God. And that is going to make a lot of the solo guides uh, a lot more interesting because we can do crazy things now with a bunch of ammo. Um, I think today we're going to, I know we've done Romero game already and there's maybe a few guns we haven't done yet, but since we got custom ammo, I want to take Romero and Lamat. I think single shot weapons. So Romero sparks, uh, Springfield martini are probably the most versatile weapons with custom ammo now. And also the mat is definitely the most versatile pistol in the game because you got access to Incendiary and Full Metal Jacket. And you got access to Dragon's Breath and Slugs and Star Shells are just kind of useless. Which is okay, but... Like, the Slugs allow me to take half Buckshot with the Romero and half Slug. And then I'll get a, a little bit of extra Slugs to use for my Romero here. So I have pretty much every range covered here. I mean, obviously I can't shoot 200 meters, but... Um, if we get in a fight like that, we just rotate off. So with 1.5 coming out, I think uh, my new loadout is going to be, if I'm playing custom ammo, I'm definitely going to drop the stamina shot that I normally bring and bring an ammo box just in case I need it because it, it might come in clutch. And also, knuckle knife, dusters, first aid kit, traps, uh, you know, spyglass, derringer, they all technically got nerfed because they can no longer break concertinas now. Um... Basically, the concertina, you need to have a rendering damage weapon, aka like a combat axe or a talon variant or a heavy knife or throwing knives uh, or regular knife even to destroy the concertina. Uh, so, so, so normally, if I don't have a talon variant in the upcoming episodes, if I'm not using a talon uh, weapon, I'm going to be bringing heavy knife instead of knuckle knife. Purely because if I run into any concertinas, it's really going to mess me up. And it's just going to slow things down and make make my the game a lot harder for me. So Heavy Knife, I think, might become new meta. Knuckle Knife still still S tier, but Heavy Knife is definitely probably A tier. It's it's moving up a lot recently because of uh, just it, its power now with Concertinas. It destroys them so quickly. And Concertina Bombs and Traps have honestly got a huge buff, to be honest. But other than that, I just want to remind you guys that I do stream on Twitch uh, five to six days a week. So if you ever want to come over to my Twitch stream and drop me a follow, hang out, and chat, feel free to do that. I'll have a link in the description. But other than that, uh, I want to apologize. It's been about two and a half weeks since the last solo guide. Uh, I was working on some other videos and getting some other content out there. So that's why it's it's been so long. But I just want to apologize for that. Uh, I'm not the best at video editing and recording. Like, I, It's really tough for me. I don't know why. Like... I just don't have the same motivation to record and edit as I do stream uh, they're, cause they're very two, there's two very different things and I know you guys love these episodes so I'm gonna try my best uh, in the following weeks and months to try to be more consistent on YouTube because I know you guys really enjoy these so let's without further delay let's uh let's let's get into this okay all right sweet single bounty lost in Delta dude this map I love this map, but holy shit, dude. It, I play it so often. I literally play Lost in Delta probably 80 to 85% of my games, and the other, you know, 15, 20% are still Water Bayou. It's, it's so annoying. Like, me and Vambas during the tournament will have a highlight video, or it'll all be live. I think the highlight video will already be live by the time I release the solo guide. So if you want to click the top right, uh, you can check it out there. But during the tournament we played in, um... We got lost in Delta 15 out of our 17 games. Like, holy shit, man. It's just ridiculous, this map. So we're going to check the spawn to our right. I don't think there's anyone there. I didn't really see anybody. Or hear anything yet. I think we're good. Going to glance over at mod. See if we see any AI popping in or any heads running across there. Don't see any. Gonna peep the map. 
Okay, so this is normal, pretty normal standard map for me. I just pick up clue iron, I go fort, get my double clue, then I go boss. So we'll see how that goes. So by the way, to switch custom ammo, um, you just press X. You could change it out if you have a single shot weapon. Same as Lamat. Press X, he switched to the shoddy mode. Gonna leave the Lamat on FMJ rounds though, and I'm probably gonna keep the shotgun in buckshot for now and only swap to slugs when I need it. Just keep an eye out looking for players. Uh, we're almost two minutes into the match, so people should be coming from Wolf's Head or Bradley right about now. I'm gonna bait the simulator down, kill the hive. That I can kill him. Good boss is here. Gonna do a little wiggle, save my head. Drop the skate so people can't flank me later. Kill the armored. It's white, nice. Alright, I'm gonna get some traps going. And then uh, we will work on the boss. Still white. Want to kill this dog. Cool. I'm going to get my default traps at Fort. I will show you them. Ooh, a Terminus. Nice. That could actually be useful for me later, to be honest. So, how are you guys liking 1.5, by the way? Custom ammo. Uh, hopefully, you guys are enjoying it. New boss is coming out very soon as well, March 24th. And... It is confirmed that there's going to be a live event as well with the new boss. Looks very interesting. It looks like we can like share money with other players, either our teammates or everyone in the server if we want. It looks very strange. I'm not sure how it's going to work. It's going to be cool though. Looking forward to it. The new Bomb Lance first aid kit and Hunter skin look absolutely amazing. We got some crows going off at Wolfhead. I'm gonna get my default traps down. This trap here is really good. People don't normally run, they don't normally see it because they're always looking at the the hole or the roof, and they don't they don't see it. Same with this one. This one is really really nice as well. <clears throat> Check if it's still white. We are good. All right. Shots from Ma by the bridge, I would say. To be honest, maybe I don't even do boss. I just set up with traps everywhere. Might be the play. There's a lot of traps here, actually. It's going to be a long game, though, if we do that. Gonna open both of these, so we have some rotation options later in the round, if we need. We got special ammo here, good to know. Just looking for some more traps, or meds, things to keep in mind. Uh, this could potentially be a fight over at Iron. Although, it's very strange for a fight to be occurring there. But we did hear that, that Wolf's Head team. Uh, earlier. When we were getting the traps down. Now I'm just looking for some lunch boxes, maybe. Uh, not seeing any lunch boxes, though. Yeah, that must be a fight. Must be. We got uh, dogs going off at uh, Bradley as well. Gonna swap to some buckshot, so if we get pushed, we can kill somebody. Without having to ADS, obviously.
If you haven't seen my assassin guide, make sure you check that out as well. I'll have a link in the top right. I don't have a stamina shot, so I can't just nuke her down really fast. I have to play it kind of slow, which is fine. Oh, one of them died to my traps. One of them died to my traps, guys. That guy just died to my trap. So that guy has Dragon's Breath, and I don't need to be scared of him. He died in my trap again. He got Necroed or something. That guy cannot one-shot me because he has Dragon's Breath. Swapped over to some slugs here. Nice. One more. Nice, nice. Very, very well executed there. Dude, this guy died to my traps. I'm telling you guys. The defaults. All right. Yeah, so this guy had Dragon's Breath, and once he shot me, I played with a lot of confidence when I was pushing around outside. Because I know he can't one-shot me. Worst he's gonna do is, like, damage my health bars. Which is fine, because I'm gonna banish the boss anyways. Uh, it's impossible for him to kill me with one bullet there with Dragon's Breath. There's a new team here. They're probably from the north, I would imagine. I'm gonna swap to some slugs. And grab some ammo up here, because we knew there was ammo here. We used a little bit of our slugs that, that fight. This team is probably on the north side. I can only imagine. It only makes sense. Gotta switch to Buckshot. Oh, they're actually in the boss layer. Whenever the assassin stands up like that, that means uh, someone's inside. There's one crouching above me, I believe. Yeah, there's one above for sure. We are on Buckshot. These guys are little crouchers, man. I'm kind of scared. Can maybe go up slowly? Yep. Worked perfectly. Get away from my health regen. Gonna swap the slugs for a little bit of extra range. Oh, what was that play, my man? Why would you knife rush me there? Oh no, you poor guy. Uh, we got some buckshot here with the Romero. All right, nice. I'm gonna actually leave the bodies. I might need them later to heal or, you know, loot more meds or traps or whatever. All right, so we still have a team over at Iron. That was a duo as well, so I killed one trio and a duo, so there's at least six people left. 100% six people left. We're gonna get this boss boss killed, and uh, then we're gonna set up some more traps. I think. All right, still white.
All right. Gonna get some more traps set up. Uh, we still have these guys over here somewhere, so... They've been fighting for a while, it seems. Uh, I don't know why, but... Gonna peek out, maybe get some intel. Maybe they're trying to camp extract? I, I don't know. We do need to be careful. We do not have the boss anymore to tell us if people are nearby, so... We need to use our ears a little bit more here. And focus on the sounds. Alright. I'm going to reset these traps. We got the Talon, so it works perfectly. Oh, grab the Romero, please. I'm just being very careful here. I don't want to get, like, randomly headshot because I wasn't paying attention. Alright. Can reset these traps now. They're gonna see the body? Here's what I'm thinking, right? They're gonna see the body, so they're gonna be looking at the ground. So I should probably put them elsewhere. I like- I like this trap combo here. This trap right here is very, very nice. People don't normally see this one either. And that's a pretty commonly traveled path as well, right here. Yeah, this trap is very hard to see. That tall grass. What we can also do is bait them into running this way. So you could put a trap like this. So they don't even bother going that way. So they run into this one. That's a good thing you can do to kind of like play some psychological tricks on your teammates. Or your enemies, I mean. Alright. Uh, I want to potentially see if I can loot this last guy really quick. Gonna swap the slugs here. Scanning the area. Okay, I'm gonna do a little wiggle to protect my head. No headshot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, nice. Uh, we can just set these ones up directly behind the old one. Cool. Gonna look over here because we haven't looked on the north side for a while. See if we're getting flanked. Seems not. So that's good. Those grunts might trigger my traps, actually. I hope not. Dude, we got a trap kill, guys. I haven't gotten a trap kill in months, dude. Like, actually, I'm not even kidding. It's been such a long time since I've gotten a trap kill. And we killed him twice as well. Because his teammate went to necro him. For some funny reason. Just listening? Okay. But yeah, it's been- it's actually been so- such a long time. Since I've gotten a- a trap kill. There's nobody on scan. Okay. Well. I'm gonna go Hemlock. I can't be bothered to try to go Iron and run into a team camping. Because we know for sure there was people over there somewhere, so... I, I, I can't be asked. If I die now, it'll just be like a waste of my time. So, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna reward those guys with a kill and two bounties. They can come over and get the last bounty if they want. But... I'm not gonna reward that kind of playstyle just sitting over there. That's just not fun. Nothing wrong with playing like that, by the way. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but it's just not fun to play against, in my opinion. And it's not its not fun to reward them. I don't like playing into people's playstyles, and, like, you shouldn't either. You shouldn't, like, force yourself to play into someone's playstyle if it puts you at a disadvantage. Does that make sense? So just don't do that, generally. And by the way, I'm addicted to switching, switching my, my ammo type. It's a bad habit. It's just something I do. It's like, uh, constantly inspecting your knife in CSGO or Valorant or something like that, basically. Oh, yep, yeah, they shot, see? They're over there. Yeah. 
They're they're making they're over here right now. I'm not gonna play against them like that, dude. That's just not fun. Well, that's a GG, guys. Uh, we'll get out of this game. We'll do uh, end game review and we'll talk about some things. <clears throat> pog, 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 dude. We got six kills. Yes, that, that's correct. Okay, so none of them, none of those guys died to my traps on their way out, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, we didn't get six kills. We killed the red shirt legendary guy twice. And then we wiped the remainders. Dude, feels good though. We got a trap kill. Like I said, it's been ages since I got a trap kill. So that's really exciting. Such a long time. All right, I think I'm gonna get uh, some Doctor, 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 Dauntless, obviously, amazing trait. Um, and what else should we get? Life would have got nerfed, so it's it's really not that useful anymore. It's not worth five points. It's like it's only good for a ladder or um. You know, like jumping down from a high ground somewhere. It's it's really not that good. Like, it has this weird cooldown on it now, and it's like it just feels buggy, and it's just not fun to to use. It's like you jump. If you jump before you vault or get on a ladder, your character vaults and climbs a ladder like they don't have life at all. It's it's very strange now. It's just not fun. Like instead of buying life foot now, guys, I just recommend you get self skin, especially with like dragon's breath and incendiary ammo in the game. Uh, way more, way more useful, way more practical. Lifefoot is only good in where, wherever there's a ladder, basically. It's really not that good anymore, sadly. I think I'm just gonna go for Bloodless here. Probably is the the play. Could help me a lot. And you know what? I'm actually gonna pick up Adrenaline, just in case I get like Sparks or something, and I need to get Stamina. Might might be useful. Even even a Mosin or. Any weapon that takes me below my 50 bar will be good. And then, since I have Doctor now, I think I'm going to pick up a... No, no, no I'm not going to get Stamp Shot, actually. I just got Adrenaline, so I don't need it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Could go for Antidote. Might do, might do that. Yeah, we'll go for an Antidote, and then we'll just uh, loot something back. All right, nice. Um, anything I want to talk about that last game? I don't know. I think I think that's it. I think I'm good. Let's go next game. Okay, Devon spawn. We got two spawns. Uh, two potential player spawns right next to us here. Uh, we got one behind. Bottom left and to our right by the river near slaughter. So we're going to keep an eye out for those player spawns. I normally don't check the spawns if I spawn right here because if we get a spawn there and a spawn there, we can get pinched. And fighting that spawn from right here is really bad because uh, you have no... There's not as much cover for you uh, over there on this side of the road, if that makes sense. The, the people that spawn here have way way more of an advantage. So I normally just rush into compound and get some space really fast. Get our antidote in. We're going to be checking over here for some peeps. Um, don't see anyone. And I really don't like that clue. Because if someone's ratting around over there... Uh, I'm gonna get killed. I have no way to rotate off of that position, so I'm just gonna ignore that clue. I'm not gonna go for it. I, I don't like going for that clue, especially if I'm solo. It's just too risky. Okay, we're gonna chuck it over at pitching, probably, and then maybe get double clue at church, if it allows us. Goddamn water devil, ruining my day. Thank you, dude. We got shots over at like port maybe, maybe Darrow, Alice area, somewhere up here. I just heard one bullet. Gonna be checking our left. We're a minute and a half into the game. 
So we can see if people are coming up from Cyprus. I'm gonna switch to Buckshot when I get in the compound here. Oh, I missed. I'm so bad. Lol. Nice. The boss is down south. We will be able to get a double clue. Most likely. At healing. Can make our way over here. We're now two minutes into the game. Slaughter team, if they spawned, should be coming up to church about now. I might run into them if they are playing somewhat at a fast pace. At a, at a moderate pace, I would say. Gonna actually keep the slugs loaded up. You can see what ammo type I have loaded, by the way, if you look at the bottom of the screen. Every ammo type has its own little logo. So, if you're ever wondering what ammo I have at any moment, the little ball on top of the shotgun shell means slug. And I didn't mean to scare those. And then, Buckshot is just the regular icon that it's always been. Armored got aggroed because this Grunt got aggroed, I believe. We do have a Banish at Stillwater. That is a very interesting. Doesn't look like anyone spawned Slaughter, or else this Grunt would probably be most likely cleared out. We do have double clue here, so we'll be able to find out where the boss is. And we will be able to do the map slash dark sight trick to see if anyone is on boss at any time we would like. Alright. Boss is at slaughter. We can do the map trick. Wait for the red outline. And then wait to see if it moves. So I'm spamming the map. We're looking at this red line. Seeing if it moves. And it's not moving. So no one's on boss. You can also use dark sight. Once you have layer located. To see if the boss is active. Which means there's players there. But uh, it is currently not active right now. So I think we are good. I could go down there and just do that boss. And probably get it for free. But you guys know me. I'm gonna go for still water here. Get some kills. I'm gonna most likely run into two teams here because remember those shots I called out earlier in the round? Uh, to the north? It was not these guys. It most likely wasn't them, so... Uh, we should be able to potentially fight two teams here. If we position on the south side of the compound, we probably most likely won't get sandwiched. So, we might be good there. We did just hear a barrel go off at Lock Bay as well. So, we know this player's Lock Bay now. Probably coming down to church. Maybe coming here. Alright. Looking at the windows. Just making sure we're good. I don't want to aggro these. Because right now I have Element of Surprise. If I had, like, throwing knives or something, I would take it out, but they would think it's still hear it. Just walking, going slow here. Gonna pre-aim a little bit. Check for traps. No traps. Hmm. Why is there an armored here? What? Oh no, he just gave away my position, dude. Load up the buckshot. They definitely hear me now. I'm gonna jump down quick, peek. Nobody here. We could probably go for wall bangs. Also, I have a... Uh, 
an antidote shot, so... One dead. Two dead. Gonna back out and heal. Gonna load a buckshot. So I can jump shot here. Gonna flash. Use our Dauntless. We need a re-peek. She didn't res him. Nice. Alright, their mistake was all being down here. She should have been up top with the sparks. I'm gonna scan. Oh, shit. Alright, I'm gonna loot this guy quick. Get the buckshot going. Or the, the slug. Oh, are you kidding? He is so lucky. Oh man, he is so lucky. Wow. That is just, that's just pure RNG, dude. He can't even see me through all the, the flames and the fog down there. That sucks, man. GG, GG. Fucking Sag, dude. Big Sag last game. Big Sag. That's lame, man. <laughs> That's so lame. Uh, we died to some Papega, man. He just got lucky. I, I shouldn't have stayed in that position for as long as I did. I shouldn't have stayed to shoot that second slug. But, uh, you know, we all make mistakes and we learn from them. I should have fallen back immediately after looting the guy and just reset the fight and gone above them or something. And maybe flank them from above. Probably would have gotten me a free kill. It's all good. We spawn a lanes. Old map. Daytime. Double bounty. Kind of gross. We're checking the other spawn right now. To our left. You need to look like right here. And right here. But I don't think anyone's there. The clue is back there. God damn it. We got Doctor this time. Our Hunter rolled Doctor. And it was like Bulwark, or sorry, it was uh, Doctor, Bolt Seer, and Horn Skin, so I just respect them. For Kite Skin Dauntless Pack Mule. You guys know how important uh, Pack Mule is as a solo. I explain it all the time. It's very, very important. There's also a Spectre here, which is kind of Pog. They added loads of new guns that can spawn on the ground. Randomly throughout the world, so that's really dope. A lot of good weapons as well. I could probably go Blanch it and get double clue here. But I kind of want to get in a fight, so I think I'm going to go with Darrow. And also, that will get me closer over here. Faster, so... I think going Darrow here is probably the play. We go Darrow into Alice or into Lock Bay maybe, and then to Church or Still Water from there. We'll see. All right. We got shots. Uh, at like over here, maybe, maybe even chapel. Just keeping an eye out for players here, Just scoping things out. So, are you guys excited for new boss? And are you guys enjoying custom ammo? Let me know down in the comments. Uh, new boss. A lot of people, I think, are a little too overexcited about it. It's not that big of a change, uh, as like the custom ammo was because 
you kill the boss a couple times and that's it like then it's not exciting anymore obviously it's gonna be a fresh and you know change things up for, for a little a little little amount of time you know but I think the custom animal is a bigger change than new boss for sure and also new map coming hopefully May or June if it's later than June I'm gonna cry but I I'm hoping new map is in May or June they told us last year in December that it would be quarter two of 2020 or 2021 I mean so hopefully we get the new map um, relatively quick here in May or June that would be the dream that would be the dream so this fight's happening by the bridge I think I might go third party this Yeah, I'm gonna go third party this. Gold cash register, people pog. Okay, we hear we hear guys close right here. I need to get in compound. That's my priority right now. One dead. We know one is dead for sure. We don't know how many left. We're gonna assume it's six. A 3v3, so five people left. Man, I wish these grunts weren't here. Shit. We're gonna peek. See if we can spot this tier two poncho guy. Uh, these guys are burning the body they killed, I imagine. Because they don't know whose team is who. Are we hear them pushing up? We can hear one guy on the roof as well. Just doing some crack peeks here. Get a cheeky headshot potentially. We also hit that guy on the roof, so we can crack peek like this to try to see him. I would love to get in the other boss layer, it's way better. One died. Now's a good time to go. Three dead. Nice little vault you can do to get up top here. Take that guy out. He rezzed. Oh no. Pick her out quick. Switch to buckshot. Hit him with the wall bang. Gonna climb on him here. I think he's reviving. Take her down again. Gotta keep the rotates up. We don't know what he has, so I can't push him, really. I need to be careful. He might have a shoddy. He might be the Mosin guy, though. Don't know. Gonna switch back to Buckshot here. Gonna drop down like this as well. It's gonna be very quiet and crouch. 
Alright, he's pushing to the left. Alright. He's probably gonna climb the ladder? Nope. I don't know what he's doing. He's upstairs. Ah, oh, we just missed the headshot there. It's okay. He's outside. Just listening here, guys. Just listening. Use the audio to your advantage. I see lots of new punt players, just players in general, not using sound to their advantage. Alright, he charges melee, so I just take space. Whew, nice. Alright, boss has slaughter as well. We got six bodies here. So yeah, like I was saying, just use the sound to your advantage. I see lots of hunt players. Why can't I reload? This left click bug is so annoying. I can't reload. My gun is just constantly left clicking, that's why I can't reload. Or my mouse, like not my mouse, but the game is thinking I'm left clicking. Oh, it's so annoying. Anyways, a lot, I see a lot of new hunt players um, not using sound to their advantage. Use it, guys. It's the biggest thing in this game. It's the best part about this game. The sound design and just the way it, it, the stereo audio works, it, the 3D audio, it's just... It's so amazing, guys. I really, I really want more, everyone to, like, understand how important it is. Like, if you go, if you play quick play... You have a prime example of how people don't use audio to their advantage. If you're spectating, you see like the guy, like he'll like dark side a hundred times to like make sure he knows where the guy with the wellspring is. When he can hear him running around inside, like, dude, dark side to get his position once, maybe twice, right? Then once you know where he's at, just use your ears from there. The audio is so good in this game. Just use it, guys. It's, it's the best part about the game. Seriously. Alright, so we got... I don't know where the sixth body is there, but I'm assuming it's somewhere there. So, I, I don't know. I wish I could reload this, man. It's so annoying. It's so annoying. We, did, we didn't see six bodies, but uh, I'm assuming there's six. We heard, we heard six deaths for sure. I'm pretty sure, but maybe the archaeologist got killed a couple times. I don't know. We'll, I don't know. But I don't think they're going to get rezzed. I'm not worried about it. Um, this- this last team. I mean, there could be a duo left. Could be a duo. And maybe that's why they're shooting right now. We've heard of sparks, two sparks, and a windfield. That's only three guns, so... Mm. At Bornheim? Windfield? Or, um, yeah. Maybe chaos, even. I don't know. I think it might be a chaos. To be honest. Crown! Maybe not. Yeah, if this is a fight. This is a fight. Let's go there. So the last five people on the server are there, for sure. Let's go intercept.
I would like to not scare these crows. Yep, we see two guys. I don't know if you can see that on the recording. But there was two dudes there. Best case, we get inside the White House. We could fight really strong position from there. Looks like they cleaned up the fight. What? Oh, they're burning now, okay. Hmm. Alright, so I see what's happening. I see what's happening. It was actually a trio and a duo at... At, um... At Alice. And this is two trios, perhaps. They rezzed, actually. They actually rezzed the Scarecrow woman. Alright, so we got Lorona. Okay, they have Necro. Need to be aware of that. Lerona and Scarecrow Woman are left. You can just hear them crouching around, so it's really not that hard to... ...to get these kills, guys. We heard her use Dark Sight. Let's see which one she reses. She's probably resing the other one right now as well. <laughs> She's just there. She's literally there. Oh, <laughs> baby. Oh, barrels are trapped. Would not want to die to that. Whew. I was actually scared of this Terminus, to be honest. <laughs> that was nice. That was a nice play, guys. That was a very nice play. Oh, you can't break this with talent? Oh, you can. Okay. I thought so. Why wasn't it working? That <laughs> man, we we farmed this guy, and then the, she reses this guy, and he just stands up right in front of me. That's it's so funny. It's actually so funny. Oh, poor guys, man. We're gonna lose as much money as we can. Nice. I think we're clear, to be honest. So I think what happened here... Let's go find the other bodies, but I think... Yeah, so... I think it was a trio? And a duo at Alice. And then... Um, it was... Three, or two trios here. And I killed the trio, they killed the duo at Alice, right? Yeah, let's see, there's a body here, Sunflower Girl. Tier one. Hmm. Gonna keep scanning, making sure we're safe here. 
Guys, shotguns are just the best way to play solo, I'm telling you. And with custom ammo coming out, like, oh, they're so much better. They are so much better. Literally, Romero is probably the most versatile shotgun. And then, you know, Lamat, very versatile as well. Sparks, Martini, all very versatile weapons. I highly recommend them to you guys. Try them out. Double barrel is still my favorite shoddy. And it's definitely the most consistent. But Romero, as you can see, like, absolutely just shreds. Because uh, you have that buckshot for close. And then you have that one tap potential with these slugs. or the, And the headshot one tap potential up to 25 meters with the slugs. It's, it's really beautiful, man. I don't know where the rest of the bodies are, to be honest. So I'm just going to dip. I think, I think we're good, dude. This was a nice game. Really high kill. We killed that Muppet Lady three times. We killed Lorona twice. We killed Scarecrow Lady twice. So three, five, six, seven on just that trio alone. And then we killed Archaeologist twice. So eight, nine. Redneck once. And Poncho once. Eleven. Oh my god. Absolutely mental, mate. This bug is actually so annoying that I can't reload this. I wonder if I shoot it, can I reload? Oh. Nope. It, it's actually bugged. The chamber is bugged, it looks like. I can't reload the last bullet at all. That's so strange. Weird. Okay. I'm gonna do other boss. And uh, just go extract after that. If I was you guys... Actually, no. I'm just gonna extract. But if I was you guys, obviously, go get the next boss. It's completely free. I can pretty confidently say the server's wiped. So, I don't have to worry about any other players. Another fi like $500 for you. Pretty easy. Definitely would go for the next boss if I was you, though. I'm just gonna extract so I can save myself some time. Gamers, dude. We we gaming out here, guys. We're gaming. Whew. Whew. That match was uh that was really fun, dude. That match was really fun. I love those high kill solo matches where you just uh absolutely dominate the enemy teams like that. They're always just the best, like oh. Anyways, guys, this loadout, highly recommend you giving it a shot. Lamat, I think, is probably the best pistol in the game now. Uh Thanks to custom ammo. It's just extremely versatile in single or dual wield. Like, oh, it's just so good, man. I think it's probably the best pistol, to be honest. Obviously, Uppercut and Dolch are still very strong, but, like, Lamat's power just went from, like, you know, pick rate's probably going to go from whatever it is now up probably, like, by, like, 8%, maybe 10%, which is a lot for a pick rate. It's a very good gun, honestly. And also, Romero and any other single shot weapon. You can mix and match the ammo. Like, if we go Sparks, um, we can take Poison or Incendiaries. If we go Martini, we can take uh, FMJs, Explosive, Incendiary. And if we go Spring... Whoops. Hello? This UI, though. If we go Springfield, we can take... Dum uh, Dum Explosive. Very powerful. Very powerful. But yes, boys, give give this lot out a shot for yourself. Uh, you can swap the buckshot for pennies because pennies, if you look down right here, uh, you get one out of ten, so you get a lot of of shots, right? Pennies give you a lot more ammo than than the standard normal starting ammo. But the problem with pennies is that there's no wall bang. The sh range is shorter, and obviously it's special ammo, so you gotta like pick your poison there. But I think Buckshot is a little bit better on Romero than Pennies. And then combine that with Slugs, you are just going to be an absolute machine, as you guys can see from this game. We absolutely just, just smashed everybody. It was it was beautiful, dude. It was beautiful. But anyways, boys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Again, like I said earlier, sorry about the delay or, I guess, 
no solo guides in the last like two and a half weeks. Uh, I apologize. I'm gonna try to be more consistent on YouTube. Like I said, I'm just not the best at editing and recording, and like it just takes a lot of motivation, a lot of time for me to be able to make these episodes because I have to record, which takes an hour. We're in an hour and eight minutes recording right now, and then I have to edit, or sorry, I have to pre-render the video, which takes another hour. And then I have to edit it, which takes uh, anywhere from two to maybe even four hours, depending. It, I don't know. It, and then, and then I got to render that, which also takes like another hour and a half. It, it's just a lot of a lot of time spent on these. And I normally have to take a day off stream. And I, I just enjoy streaming way more than I do uh, recording and editing, for obvious reasons that you can probably figure out. But yes, thanks again for guy. Thank you guys for all the support and checking out the solo guide series and all the support on the uh, other YouTube videos and the Twitch channel. We just recently broke 10k followers on Twitch, which is absolutely mental. I think we have like 10,500 something. It's been nuts, dude. But uh, yeah, and also we're at 5.5k on YouTube, I believe, which is also crazy. So just seriously, thank you guys so much. You guys are. Absolute legends, seriously. If you guys have any loadout recommendations with custom ammo, um, definitely drop those in the comments. Just just type, uh, you know, the gun, the ammo, and then the secondary and the ammo you want to see. I honestly, today I didn't know what to run. I didn't know what loadout to do. Uh, but I just said, you know what, let's just do another shotgun video because <laughs> shotguns are just <laughs> shotguns are just brutal, dude. They allow you to control fights, and it's. It's just so much fun, dude, being able to control a fight against a team like that. You just get inside, you play around cover, and you control that fight, and there's no way they... I mean, there's a way they can kill you, but it's very le less likely you would lose the fight because shotguns are just so goddamn strong. But yes, no more... I'm gonna stop stalling. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for all the support. If you want to check out my Twitch channel, make sure you do that. Link in the description. And uh, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Have a good week. Have a good weekend. Take care, and peace, boys. Thank you.